So, have you heard the one about the incredible shrinking man? It's Orson Welles speaking. I just saw the impossible happen before my astounded eyes. I saw a man grow smaller and smaller day by day. I saw the loneliest and most frightened creature on earth living a nightmare in a world of giants. The Incredible Shrinking Man. The Incredible Shrinking Man. There's no denying. It seems that everything around this convicted felon seems to be shrinking these days. I mean, everything. Even little things. Like his brain. Especially when he says stuff like this. My administration will be great for women and their reproductive rights. Really? Isn't that like the complete opposite of when he got a Supreme Court to do his bidding and get rid of Roe v. Wade? And he was so boastful about it and so proud of it. And now he's against it? Saying that it's not right? Again, his brain is shrinking. And let's not forget what the significant news outlets seem to want to forget, you know, and don't report on. You know, the Republican fearful leader and his slurred words, his insane word salads, all some blue cheese on the side, please. And other things, he's constantly talking about Hannibal Lecter, you know, the great Hannibal Lecter. And do we really care about if he's afraid of that he's going to be eaten by sharks? I mean, the guy's a frightening mess. And they want to trust him with the nuclear codes? Really? I wouldn't trust him to you know, sell them to the highest bidder. I wouldn't trust him with the codes to my garage door opener. And let's face it, in addition to his cognitive ability shrinking, there's lots of other things to be shrinking around this man, too. Especially for someone who has size matter issues, like the crowds at his rally seem to be shrinking, his numbers in the polls seem to be shrinking, loyalty amongst some Republicans in their hearts and minds, that also seems to be shrinking. So let's face it, if we're going to be talking about things shrinking, he needs a shrink. Or at least someone, please, shrink wrap the guy. Oh, and remember how I kept on saying it ain't over till the fat lady sings? She's not singing. It ain't over. Yep, she's still in a coma. Aww. Oh, and by the way, I'm Arthur. Here at Arthur Ease Your Mind on YouTube. I am an intuitive consultant and psychic advisor. Sorry I have been around lately, but as many of you know, I have been down for the count, and a very long one it was, and I've been under the weather. I do appreciate all the well wishes, the light, the energy, the healing energy, everything. It all helped. And I had so many questions while I was away. So many questions. Like, I'll have to do another show. Like, that's going to happen this week. Just kidding. Anyway, what I want you to do is stay towards the end. I've got a little surprise for everybody. Okay? So in the meantime, let's get to these questions. First of all, we have something lots about Donald Trump. Who's that guy? And uh, first of all, Nancy Faye, I like the way she kind of says this. It is like the feeling of being under a spell that is unraveling or fever breaking to feel this joy that Tim and Kamala are bringing. What dirty tricks will 45 and his minions unleash? And can we prevail? First of all, you know they're going to try all the, everything under the sun even stuff that's under rocks. It's not gonna be pretty. But guess what? In the end, we do prevail. So keep the faith. And remember, vote blue, no matter who, okay? Now these next two questions, I really like the way Bell Bottoms Forever says this. Can we get a health expiration update on 45? And Dakota asks, is Trump physically ill? Physically? Well. Yeah, but I'm not a doctor for entertainment purposes only, but um, I never saw the man crossing the finish line. I know others have. I have not. I just feel that there's going to be some issues coming up. 
I really feel that this month of September into October. So we'll take it from there. But even though I was talking about the incredible shrinking man, you don't have to be a psychic to see all this stuff. But you know we're going to prevail. We're going to win, regardless of what that man does. Now, no middle name asks, do you see 45 potentially becoming like Karen and Quinlan? Um, I'm not sure. I just know, I don't know if he's going to be in a vegetable, in the state of a vegetable, but I don't know what's going on, but he's not going to be around. Let's put it that way. Okay. Also, will Trump actually debate Kamala or will he chicken out? The jury's still out on this one. Jury being the appropriate word for Mr. Trump, the felon, because he hates that word. Um, I want to say at the last minute, he may pull out or he shows up and then walks off stage. Let's put it that way. This is more than one scenario. Sherry asks, do you see Trump being held accountable for selling secrets to foreign countries? Yes, I do. And with the follow-up question, do you see Jack Smith being successful in getting 45 or anyone accountable for the treasonous actions? Yes. First of all, Florida and the documents is not over. Remember, that lady hasn't sung yet. Jack Smith's team did, you know, ask the court to reverse Judge Cannon's decision. And that's with appeals right now. And I feel they're going to come back and to him. There'll be a new judge. More things are going to come out that we didn't even know about. And he's got some explaining to do. It's going to get ugly. In the meantime, we do have Judge Chetkin doing what she's doing with Jack Smith and everything else. I don't know if they'll be able to start a trial before the elections, but there's going to be a lot of paperwork and a lot of hearings before them. And stuff is going to come out. So get the, pop get the popcorn time. Do you see Jack Smith, uh, CISA? Do you see Jack Smith indicating any members of Congress that helped Dumpty on January 6th anytime soon? As I always say, I hate the word soon because our soon and upstairs, their soon, the guides, is a little bit different. But people will be indicted, yes. I actually feel members of the Congress will have to step aside because, number one, they're going to be indicted. And they're not going to be able to sit there and lie and lie because voters don't want them there. They're going to be gone. I like this one a lot from Lynn. Will we ever find out how much the media has supported and protected Trump 45? Eventually, yes. Eventually, yes. It's a frightening thought. Um, you, you would think Hearst was running the show. And all the propaganda, all the crap that's out there. And as I said, significant news outlets, they're owned by MAGA, so they have their own agendas. That's where I turn to independent news sources online that are reputable and trustworthy, like Midas Touch, Brian Taylor Cohen, Harry Littman, and a lot of others. There are wonderful people out there. So keep the faith. I like this question. Once the new Harris administration takes over, do you see people like MTG, Perry, Johnson, and all the other MAGAs who were involved in Jan 6 finally being removed from Congress? As I said earlier, yes. I don't need to go into explanations or details. The answer is yes. Let's just let the show unfold. It's going to be fun. Can't wait for the clown car to come up. Grandma forever. Do you see Kamala and her father fixing their relationship by January 20th? I feel there has been communication. That's all. That's the only word I'm getting from my guides. Is there has been communication. To what extent? We'll see. I mean, she's the president of the United States, so it will be. Mystic by the sea. What do you feel 
will Kamala's victory be a landslide? I want to say yes to this. But the only way we're going to make that happen is to make it happen. So get out there and vote and get everybody that you know that's thinking of not voting. Explain, explain stuff to them and let them see what there are other ways, as it were, and get them to vote. Do you see Kamala winning Pennsylvania? Actually, I got more than one person asked that question, and I get a yes on it. My home state, PA. And Pink Lady, do you see VP Harris possibly winning in North Carolina? I also got that as a yes. So let's keep on going. Carol. Will the Georgia Election Board be stopped from throwing the Georgia election into chaos? Will the Georgia election win for Kamala be certified in time? Yes, Georgia will be certified for Kamala Harris for president as president. Okay. Yes, there's all this stuff going on, all these lawsuits, all this craziness. Just know that while they think they're the smart people in the room. The Dems have smarter people, especially people like Mark Elias and his group. Okay. So if you want, send them lots of most benevolent outcomes that they get and succeed with whatever, whatever they're asked to do. Uh, Cheryl asks, would like to learn if the Secret Service has purged the Trumpsters in its ranks. Will President Biden Kamala Harris and Tim Walls remain safe between now and whenever Harris Walls gets sworn in, yes. I do feel that there are some Secret Service members that may have been put on notice and they're now crossing their T's, dotting their I's, okay? I do not feel because of Secret Service in regards to Biden, Harris, or Walls that they're in trouble, okay? Now, I like this one and I like the way you think, Sue Todd. Do you see universal health care in USA under the Harris administration? I always did say eventually we will have United Health Care. My God has always said that. Will it be this time around with Harris? Close to it. If it's not 100%, it's going to be very close to it after her eight years. Okay. Uh, let's see, election predictions and outcomes. Elizabeth asks, do you see Democrats getting enough of a majority in the House and Senate so Harris can get things done? You betcha. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. And I do feel that the Senate is going to go very blue. I feel the House may not be as big a margin as we'd like, but let's hope I'm wrong, you know? And I was right about George Santos leaving. And now he's, sent, you know, he's facing sentencing. So he's not there anymore. But I'm waiting for what scam he's going to pull in prison. It's like three, two, one. Okay, George is trying something new now. <sighs> also, Stargazer asks, do you see the Dems getting a good majority in the House? Same question. Yes. Will the Supreme Court attempt to intervene to try and reduce a potential huge blue wave victory? No. I do not see this going to be a repeat of the Gore stuff with Bush. I don't see any of that. I do not see them getting involved. And if they do get involved, I still feel it's going towards the Democrats. All right. Now, this is a fun one. Will other GOP members who get voted out refuse to leave their seats aside from Trump revolting? What, they're going to sit there 24-7? No, they have to go home. They have to pee. And when they do, the seat won't be there. Okay? Now, other things. You've always said that you don't see 45 make it to the election. Is this the reason Tulsi Gabbard is suddenly being resurrected or recruited into the campaign? No, not at all. 
I don't get that whatsoever. And there's other, there's more questions about her. Do you see her playing a bigger role in the Republican Party? She's the new shiny toy that used to be a Democrat in name only. And I like this one. Do you see Tulsi replacing J.D. Vance? No. But I did find it fun where Trump keeps on singing J.D. Vance's praises, even though J.D. Vance makes himself look like an idiot half the time. He's not weird. I'm not weird. And J.D. Vance is so straight. You know the expression, a picture says a thousand words? And here I used to think J.D. Vance. J.D. stood for just dumb. But now I think it probably means Judy Worthy. Anyway, moving on. J.B.M. C.J.A.B. asks, will Virginia Fox, North Carolina, lose her seat? She always reminds me of some backwoods creature in some movie. And she's out. Okay. Now, Abigail asks, or oh, sorry, Annabella asks, will Eugene Vindman, Democrat in Virginia, win? Yes. I do get that loud and clear. And Ruben Gallego from Arizona, will he win? Put it this way. Carrie Lake is done. So with that being said, Ruben wins. Yay, Arizona. But in the meantime, most benevolent outcomes. Come on, people. Kathy Balkam asks, will Nancy Mace hold her seat? No one reads on her. No one wants to read on her. She's got horrible energy. I'm on the fence on this one. I feel she just may keep her seat. Slim margin, but may keep it. Let's hope I'm wrong. But she's not a nice person. I mean, the way she like said certain people's names wrong on purpose. I wonder if she had her milk and cookies and took a nap after kindergarten class. Gay lizard, gay, gay lesiger, sorry. I always say I feel like a substitute school teacher reading names. Will Katie Porter have a position in the new administration? I really feel she's going to have that clipboard or that whiteboard, and she's wearing a go, and she's going to get new markers and everything. Yes. She's going up. She's going up the ladder. Believe me. Now, Wright Stryker asks, if and when senators and House members get their letter and are indicted in the process, are they replaced immediately or do people have to vote others in? That I'm not sure. I'll be honest with you, that I'm not sure. I guess I didn't watch Schoolhouse Rock in the mornings on Saturdays. I can't answer that question. However, isn't when somebody's taken away, the governor has the ability to replace them until the elections? I don't know, just putting it out there. We shall see. CISA asked, do you see Jack Smith indicting any member of Congress that helped dump the, ooh, same question. Yes, we answered that. Julian Well, if the Republicans don't submit a budget, will this be why Mike Johnson is voted out? Well, if they don't submit a budget, a lot of people are gonna be out more than Mike Johnson, because everybody's going to be voting blue. Okay. Beth Hunter, are we going to find out what really happened with the butt with PA indictment incident, sorry, involving Trump incident, indictment, Trump, they all go together. Basically, to be honest with you, um, eventually. Now, I'm, I'm always going to say this. When I've asked my guides, they only said one word, manufactured. Will that, will, they, will that be their conclusion? I'm not sure. Will it eventually come out? 
just like the guy with the grassy knoll. Time will tell. Ton asks, are Dinah Bash and Jake Tapper aware that viewers no longer trust them? Yes. Oh, yeah. But do they care? That's another story. I'm not sure. Baron asks, will Judge Tanya Chuckin televise the, the evidentiary hearings? I do not believe she can. I believe that's against the rules. Only John Roberts can let that make that happen. And I don't see him doing that. Funny Mom 7. Do you see any potential violence coming around election time? And if so, which areas or regions will be most at risk? Well, honestly, I feel there will be pockets. Is it another January 6th? Hell no. Nothing like that. Mm -mm. These are going to be diehards, you know. I don't know homemade moonshine in their trucks, waving Trump flags, probably. But I don't see anybody losing their lives over this. Just a lot of people are going to be losing their dignity when the pictures come out. That's how I see it. Highland Star. Will the recent SCOTUS decision to make homelessness a felony be reversed or overridden by legislation? Yes, yes, and yes. Wow, you lose your home and it's a felon. It should be a felon that somebody took your home from you. But it'll be okay in time. Also, will Biden or Harris administration do anything to help renters, particularly you and us low income seniors, like guaranteed basic income or rent increase caps? Yes, I do see that. And in fact, they've already talked about it. In fact, I feel that's going to be one of the things that Trump is going to be running and running and running and running away from because he doesn't want to see that because he's made his money as a slumlord. I don't care if it, he has a gold-plated toilet. He's still a slumlord. Now, do you see Republicans and dictators and conservatives around the world going down soon? Look, they've always been around, always, from day one. I mean, from the days of whenever, you know, from Claudius, but to Caligula, to Trump. But I do feel in time, as the new administration gets hold, and does what they're doing. I've always said there's two words that come back into the English language that have meaning, and that is empathy and compassion, as opposed to bigotry and hate. While the latter will always be there, I don't think it will be allowed to fester as it has for the last eight years, thanks to a certain individual. Now, I want to thank everybody for your support. I mean, it humbles me. You know, I reached 10,000 subscribers. And then, I, and then I disappeared. But I got sick. It wasn't that I was, oh, I got the 10,000. I can leave now. Believe me, I was not in Fiji or Bora Bora. I was on my couch which is not anywhere near Fiji or Bora Bora. But I'm back. And I thank everyone who has subscribed, who has supported me, and has believed in me. Because as much as you support me, I support you. And that being said, let's try and get to 15,000 by the end of the year. I can't do it without your help and support. I can't do it without you. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I'm not looking at the camera because we're going to cry. <laughs> so 
So if you're not subscribed yet, please do. Because without your help and support, I'm not here. I wouldn't be here. And your comments are always appreciated. The nice ones. The other ones, you know who you are. You get erased. Da. And if anyone's looking for private readings, I'm available. Um, I have openings between now and the 25th before I leave for October. Leave, I leave for Chicago. And then after October 1st, when I leave, come back and leave Chicago, I have openings. So if anyone's looking at reading, I'm available. But remember, it's all of us that's going to make this happen. We're all in this together. The Republicans, well, it's time to show them how it's done. It's time to show what it's like to put people up as opposed to put people down. It's time to show the Republicans what it is to be compassionate and caring as opposed to their defeatist attitude of you're no good, we're better than you, you don't know anything. So we have to tell you what to do, believe me. Roe will be codified. They're not going to be able to touch it and many other things. But the one thing we have to do, besides being vigilant, is to celebrate the joy that we're feeling in these, these last couple of weeks. Well, not me, I was in bed. But feeling the joy that Walls and Harris have allowed us to feel, let it be infectious. And let it grow and let it grow. And what it means to stay on top of it and never get complicit is what we have to remember. Okay, enough said. So as I always say, take care of yourself, take care of others, and above all, stay amazing, right? Well, remember I said I have a surprise for you. I do. I, I received this one question and while I was in bed, I still had my laptop and I played a little bit with it. And this is what I came up with. So John Holden asks, what is Trump going to do or say when he loses the election in November? and realizes he doesn't win. Well, here's the answer. So in the meantime, enjoy and see you in the next video. All right, thanks, bye-bye.